Hey guys, what's up? I am here with a new video. Um, so enjoy this LOL doll cake. It is full of tons of edible glitter and I also do a lot of buttercream work. So I will be giving you some tips and tricks for smooth buttercream and crumb coating and all that fun stuff. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and share this video. Better yet, comment down below. All right, bye guys. Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna be making this cake from start to finish, starting with these toppers that I use with print and cut. If you wanna check out that video, click the little eye up above and you can check that out. This cake is gonna be glitter glitter and we're gonna be using a paper topper, which you can see I'm adhering the stick and then I'm taking fondant and I'm gonna make like a barrier in between the glue and the cake so it doesn't like get hot glue in the buttercream. So a little tip for you. This cake is going to be featuring edible. That's right, I said edible. Edible. Say it from the back. Edible. And the crowd goes wild. Edible glitter. It is from The Sugar Art. They sent me these amazing edible glitters and I was like, oh my God, I must do a cake with them. I'm going to be pairing these edible uh, glitters with Americolor colors um, in deep pink, regal purple, and sky blue just because I wanted to, you know, add a little jazz to the colors. You don't have to do this. You can completely... Um, you know, just use a regular edible glitter from them and you don't have to pair it with the colors, but I wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and load my bags. I'm using a 1M tip and I'm loading these in two disposable piping bags. Um, they're tipless piping bags. I love using these for buttercream. They are the bestest in the westest in the ever. I love them. I get them off of Amazon. So you can see how pretty these colors look with the edible glitter. Yes. Um, this is also American buttercream. So it's super simple. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you're enjoying these videos. And also if you want to see more from me. All right, so I'm using some double-sided tape and I'm using it on a wood cake board by Cakeboard Zavare. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, and I'm using the double-sided tapes. So that way it sticks to this board because they do have a tendency to slide uh, just because it's a really smooth surface. Now, I'm going to be putting six pounds of American buttercream basically on this cake because I make my buttercream in six-pound batches. And it took almost my full entire batch for this cake, hence the reason why. I am not torting this cake into four layers. I am just doing one thick layer in the middle only, which is not usually what I do. When I am doing a heavy buttercream cake, I do take into account how much buttercream is gonna go on the cake and then decide how I will tort that. So little tip for you guys, um, so you don't overwhelm people with the buttercream because American buttercream is sweet. What can I say? It's fat and sugar, you know? So I want to show you guys what this looks like on white buttercream. Like you're going to flip your lid. Okay, you guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I was bad on my counting. But look at that pink. Oh my word. And it's completely edible. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put it inside the cake too. And then look. Oh my gosh. Look at these colors. Also, you can see all the glitter kind of like going around. Um, don't have your fan on while you do this. <laughs> these glitter particles are very, very, very small. And again, edible. I cannot keep saying that enough. Edible glitter. Um, they're really small. So obviously they will fly around. So, you know, you guys look, oh my word. Like, can you guys imagine this? Like, just on a plain white cake. Like, are you kidding me? Yes, I freeze frame this because it made me that happy. <laughs> ah, edible glitter. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and you guys, I will link the sugar art down below. Um, I They sent me, like, all their colors, so I've been playing with all of them. 
and I freaking love them. Like, I really, really love them. So I'm just popping the cake on top here. Now, I did want to go ahead and do this video kind of from start to finish. There's over an hour's worth of footage just on me making this cake. So I have trimmed it down to about 13 minutes roughly. But I did want to include a lot of stuff um, that maybe, you know, I would cut out otherwise just for time's sake. All right? Because, like, you got to learn something, okay? You got to learn something while you're here. So I'm going to crumb coat my cake. Now, I do not necessarily do this because I'm not a crumb coater. But just like with the uh, tortine, I am keeping in mind that this is going to have buttercream swirls on it. And the reason I am adding my buttercream and the reason why people sometimes have issues with their rosettes sliding off of their cake is because they do not put a crumb coat and your crumb coat needs to be fresh, okay? Because your buttercream that you're going to be adding needs something to grab onto. So it's very important when you're doing a cake like this that you put a layer of crumb coat on it, okay? Uh, just, just trust me on this, all right? And this cake was not refrigerated. It was did not come out of the freezer. It was a fresh baked cake. Um, I didn't put it in the fridge or freezer in between. This is just literally footage from me starting till ending with like no fridge in between. So my uh, American buttercream was fresh and it was, you know, the perfect uh, canvas for my other buttercream to stick to. All right, so I am just doing a really basic crumb coat. We're gonna do a little snazzy swirl on the top of this. So I am putting some rings of color and I'm just, uh, you know, putting them on there. Kind of not really, you know, nothing spectacular. <laughs> uh, and I wanted to kind of just make like a really pretty top. So I'm going to show you guys how I do this. I'm using a four inch angled spatula. I believe the brand is a Tico. I did jack it from my friend. Um, I offered it back to her, but she said I could keep it. And it is the bomb.com. Oh, cake's done. Hold on. Pause. I'm back. All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking my spatula and I am very lightly with a nice delicate touch uh, smoothing that buttercream down. As you can see, I'm using the 1M tip so it's uh, not like this is smooth to start with and I'm not doing any magic tricks. I'm literally just taking a really nice uh, gentle approach, if you will. Uh, the particular buttercream I use is pretty damn good. So I don't have to do really a ton of work to get it like super duper uber smooth. I'm not heating my spatula. I'm not doing anything special with it. I'm literally just with a really light touch going over this um, to get a nice smooth surface. Uh, it's not going to be perfect by any means and I'm fine with that. I've learned through my buttercream, you know, journey. <laughs> if you will, <laughs> that perfect buttercream just ain't for me, you know? So I will be using the Aviva Paper Top Trick, yeah. Um, so if you have ever heard of the paper, the paper towel thingy, my bobber, all you do is take a Aviva paper towel. It's a specific paper towel. It's Viva. It's like, a, it comes in like a purplish kind of wrapping. But it's super uber uber smooth and my buttercream is an American buttercream so it does crust over. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually walking to the kitchen and grabbing a piece of paper towel. And as you can see, I'm very gently laying it on top. And then you can take your hand or a uh, fondant smoother and with nice gentle pressure, I like to pull in and then I like to kind of go over the top. And there you go. That's that's it, guys. Nothing spectacular. 
just a lot of practice, okay? So um, that's good for me. I'm happy with that top. So I'm going to move on to the next piece, which is I just took my fondant smoother and I have marks on it at about an inch and a half each. And I am marking some lines into my cake. So I can keep my rosettes kind of in a line, um, but they weren't perfect. They Some, you know, were a little bit bigger than others, but you see the general effect. And then taking the corresponding color of the edible glitter, and I am spraying a ton of this stuff. I am super close to it. I want to get in all those nooks and crannies that the 1M tip makes. And in order to do that, I used a lot, okay? Like, I was there spritzing and spraying, and I was loving every minute of it. If you wanted to see how I look after that, then you should probably follow me on Instagram, because that's where you're going to see all the fun stuff. <laughs> and also free tutorials randomly. Um, so, as you can see, I'm now taking the blue diamond dust edible glitter and spraying the life out of the blue layer. And then I'm taking the purple and I'm going to do the same. I wanted a little border of the uh, buttercream with the rosettes, so I made sure I just barely hit the top of that. Um, so, kind of like make another like border on the top. You guys see what I'm saying? Um, and then I hit it with more diamond dust of just like the, uh, regular kind. It's like a pearl. And then I'm taking my toppers that you guys see me made. Now this is a paper topper, but because I have that little piece of fondant, it's not going to get butter bleed from the buttercream. So I'm just arranging my toppers. I did add a glitter, um, border around this and as you can see look at that freaking shine oh my gosh you guys look at this it is so gorgeous i cannot like look at it oh oh you guys it's so good i'm also going to insert some pictures of the cake maybe like one <laughs> um but it turned out so good i did pop this cake in the fridge after obviously and when it was ready, I put a glitter tape border around the border and cleaned up the glitter off of the bottom of the board. But that, my friends, is the jam. I cannot say enough about this uh, edible glitter. It's from Sugar Art. It's called Diamond Dust. Go check it out. I will link them below. Go say hi to Holly and um, her awesome husband. You guys will totally love them. Go follow them on Instagram. I'll put their stuff below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this cake. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.